the final pit this tailgate wood. It's gonna be the easiest one to do of all of them. I've already got my uh, my anchors in there, my fasteners, and that all locked down, everything set. If I can get this one done, I can pull all this back out. I'm gonna take the hatch and make sure the glass fits and stuff like that. But I can get all this out here and out of the way. Uh, and also it's gonna help me out on that side. That side's gonna be a lot more difficult than this. Got this pretty close. So I've made me some little blocks in here. I took two paint paddles, put five flats of tape on it. That puts it right at five millimeters. That's my widest spot. I went there and locked that down. I got this where I can remove and install this real easy. Got me a jig outside where I can grind and fit. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, gap this all the way around at five millimeters. It'll be a little bit more at the bottom. Well, it's got a swing up underneath there. Uh, front face, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger. The gap's gonna have to be a little bit bigger. But, uh, and then I get all that worked in place. Then I'll come back and take a mark and mark on the edge of it all the way around. And then uh, that is that gonna give me the, what it's supposed to look like as it rolls down. And then I'll go back up there and I'll blend that over. And then uh, this will be a great fit. I wish the sides were gonna be this easy, but they're not gonna be near this easy to do. So, uh, but this will give me a uh, good practice for starting on the sides. I'll show you how I'm getting this gap around here. It's working out pretty good. I got my blocks back in there at five millimeters at the top. Um, I scribed around it, I took it out there, I, I did one light cut on that to kind of uh, see where it was going to be at and I uh, put it back up here and then I'm doing another scribe to check it and uh, all the way around I usually put a couple of marks, one down at the bottom then maybe about three marks all the way up then go out there and then I'll just kind of cut that off. It's getting pretty good now. I've, I've done, already done one uh, scribe and cut and now I went back and I've come through here and scribed it again, put me some nice marks on there and then I'll go and just kind of lightly cut those off and uh, it's almost there and it's going to be a perfect fit when I get done and I'll just come back to my edge and do my edge down the sides and blend it in and then this piece will be done. I brushed this a couple of times in sanding table and I've got this right on the money so I've made me a little, a little jig here and I got the two set up there so this side is right all the way down, this side is right all the way down and then all the way across the bottom. It's that perfect size. So now I can take it off or before I take it off I can come in here on the side and I'll just mark the outer surface of the uh, car and then I'll just blend all that over and this will be a perfect fit.